lot of things going for them. And Riz, aka flirting, is not one of them. So today we're gonna do a tier list. I think we all need to recognize who takes the throne. Mr. Benjamin Feingold. Which boat says is hotter? I mean, it depends. Like if one's in Miami and one's in Vancouver, then the one in Miami is hotter because it's like 80 degrees there. He and Karen are the power duo and I love Karen and that's it. That's all I had. <laughs> No, I mean, it's true. Putting Ben on this list I mean, makes it pretty thinking, unfair to everyone else. Yeah, I mean, the man, he's just a smooth talker. He's good looking, he's funny, he's just smart. He checks all the boxes. And he has a hot wife. And so. he's got a hot wife. Dina Bellantaya. <laughs> I bet trouble. you would never be a good husband. Look at your face. <laughs> well, she's just very aggressive. She doesn't quite flirt with people. She more like Please tells ben. them what she wants. Which is good. Dina, same tier as Alex. I would argue Dina has better Riz than my sister. That's bullshit. Okay, she's not like S tier. I'd put Dina as an A or a B because you know why? She's very confident. And even if she doesn't make sense what she's saying, she says it very assertively. And I feel like a confident woman who knows what she wants is a good woman. But she's also a little scary sometimes. We're gonna play 10 okay. more minutes. You understand what I mean? If we stop the stream, mm -hmm. you cannot like continue to play. I will not. I will not continue playing. Okay, we have time. I'll put the conditioner. It's getting hot here. It's getting hot. Yeah, you knew that. I, I think it's part of her content personality. She's very aggressive. That's a polarizing thing. People well, either like it or they get really put off by it, which is why I think it's average. So actually, I say B. If we're thinking how effective it is for her, she did tell me on stream that Hans ghosted her. So I don't think it works if she can't. And even I don't think Hans. her and Danya ever got married. <laughs> so I think, Dina, we're going to put her out of B because she has a great personality. But sometimes she's beautiful. Her aggression Smart, Scares great personality, <laughs> can scare off the men. <laughs> Why are you Let's laughing? do hammer next. I think you're pretty bad at calculation. I think you're pretty bad at openings. <laughs> I think you're pretty bad at end games. I remember when we took Hammer to his first party. He didn't like it. When we got back, he was like, I'm glad I went. I'm never doing that again. So oh, I remember he that doesn't night. like the traditional party scene, which I understand. And I also think that Hammer is so dedicated, you know, to chess and other things that he hasn't put himself out there as much as he should. That Chill. being said, I've seen Hammer, you know, try to flirt with people for practice, so I do respect that, but there's no way Hammer has better Riz than Dina. Hammer is brutally honest. And it and could be some scary people for some women. Like blunt people, and you know, maybe if he was in LA where everyone's fake, he would pull a lot of ladies. Based on him saying to my face, you will never be a good chess player. I have a feeling that he's not the smoothest talker, so I would put him below the Dina. Hammer, I love you. You're the best coach ever. I love you for who you are, never change, but your Riz is terrible. <laughs> You're going at the bottom. You've been brutally honest to me. It's my turn to be honest to you. How about my Reina? He came on your chess dating show for Valentine's Day where he fought for your love. Didn't win, actually. He ended up losing, but somebody gave his lesson with Hikaru to Samai instead. I think Samai is a comedian. He is a smooth talker. I think actually, Samai is clearly S tier. He yeah. literally does public performances. He And girls love funny guys. You can't not get yeah, no, Samai I think S. he's a stand-up comedian yes. who plays chess. Yes. So it really doesn't get better than that than having good riz. Things Hikaru has going on for him. Hey girl, do you have an exposed position? Because I want to slide my rook into your back rank and mate you. He's doing well. He's like a chess icon. He's wealthy. He's successful. He dresses well. He dresses well. He wears pineapple shirts every week. <laughs> well, I, well, when he plays <laughs> Okay, I forgot about the pineapple <laughs> shirts. I think Hikaru is at least a C. I think because he's successful How as well, he's he a B. Be Women Hikaru? love successful men and he is the biggest but... chess streamer in terms of viewer and a top five. Hang on, hang on. Okay, now you're ranking what women like in men. I rank rich is all based on personality. So I don't think his- Well, in that case. His career would have to do with his personality. All right, look, we're gonna leave them together. Eric Rosen, the nicest guy ever. But here's my take. Women don't like nice guys. <laughs> but he would absolutely get extra points because he's a very good human being and he's a great guy to talk to and he has a big heart. Maybe with Dina. It's like the two ends I, of the I spectrum. would say C, <laughs> I would say C. I feel like this is fair because Dina's overly aggressive when it comes to And he's to overly men. nice? Okay, sure. I'm okay with B or C. Anna Rudolph. She is your best friend. She is, and she's in a public, happy, committed relationship with Kevin. And I think if you're the kind of person who's always in relationships, it's actually harder to have Riz because you're not used I to agree. it. I agree. Yeah, I think about it. I think 
think Eric and Anna are kind of similar in this manner. Mm -hmm. So I think they're both going to end up very happy with someone. But they're so nice that they don't really need to work for the Riz. They're just nice. And then the right person will come along because they're good people. But I'd actually bring Eric to a C. And I'd put Anna also at a C. At a C? Why wouldn't Eric, Rose, and Anna be because, the same? Because cheerless? there's different standards for different genders. I think a nice woman is perceived as higher Riz than a nice guy. Ah, yes. interesting. Okay, Anna will be at an A tier. Yes. Anna saw us. I mean, honestly, she's really likable. When we played a match, she seems like a very fun person. She's easy to talk to, easy to get along with, so I'd definitely put her A tier. Maybe not S, because there's not something really, really unique that makes her stand out to me, but A tier. All right. She's very good. Blitzstream is extremely <laughs> good at commentating and community of events and like building a culture, it. which to me makes me think like he's very socially intelligent and what people want. Cause he's also an NM and he's just had this incredible success. That's he's true. also 2700. For me, I would say he, he has S, S tier risk. S tier? Because he holds subarinos and stuff. Okay, maybe A tier. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a little better. Levy. Does a girl ever talk to you? No. So we'll start with E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6. The thing is, Levy's actually kind of created Riz from himself because he, we've seen how he does the TikToks where it's like a lot of girls and then he does it and people are actually giga chatting him, which I think he has Riz for like the chess nerds. I so, see that uh, as uh, negative risk. I think Levy's a, is an A. Okay, I think that's fair. And I like Lucy, so he had to have some talent. No, he has, because he has nerd risk. And like, you see people create these nerd risk talks. It's a genre, but it's there. I would give Levy S tier because the chess nerd risk is off the charts there. We have Anna Kramling, another beautiful chess lady. She's a sweetheart. I don't see anything bad in her, but I don't see Riz either. I don't think she could ever hurt a fly if she wanted to. Do like, you think she could seduce a fly? A but woman, she's very you could just do it. And she's very likable, so I would put her as A. That's fair. But uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't say she has to try very hard to fool people because she's just likable and good looking as well. So now I'm ladies. feeling bad that Dina's here, but it's only because you of the- You guys, it's <laughs> because of the, jo this the jokes. This is not fair to it, my Dina. I like want to put Dina S tier. Okay, we'll put Dina in S. Dina belongs, yes. Nemo! I don't want to commit to anything. That sounds like me in relationships. Well, I would say you could put Nemo in the same category as Anna, where it's like, she's nice, she's attractive. Well, because now it seems like we're just doing, if you're yeah, a nice girl lame. who's if attractive, you, yeah, you're just well, nice. That's not is, really rich. Yeah, you can't just sprinkle the nice, pretty looking chess ladies A tier. Come on. Well, I would say we probably can. So I'm just going to do this. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Hang on. Stop that. There we go. No, no. This is... If you're an attractive female, you're automatically a risk. I would disagree. I would rank my ladies by what makes them more unique. I would actually rank Nemo higher than some of the ladies because I think she has parts of her that are more unique. I think she's adventurous. Are you saying Alessia is not adventurous? I'm not saying which ladies. I'm saying I would rank her higher than some of them. Therefore, I think there's things that would set them apart. But anyways, we'll leave it for today. It's time for the hard hitting questions. Alex, where would you rank me on the Riz tier list? S, I think you punch above your weight sometimes. Ah, yeah! yeah! That being said, I've also seen you punch way under your weight and those are less good. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I have settled for some no, questionable No, 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 men. you in my opinion actually have Riz. Okay, now we rank Alex's Riz. Alex is really good when she is on a deeper level with someone and like they know each other. When it comes to like sliding into DMs or Riz as in pulling strangers, I- Oh, I can slide into DMs. I, I just- Because I'm shameless. If I see someone attractive and it's 3am, I send them all a message, I see what happens. I think I would just go in the same yeah, genre. Yeah, I was gonna put A tier. If you're the best in the world at anything, you're S Riz. Easy. Oh boy, I'm so heavy. So I cranked up and fell her to the floor. Oh boy. Magnus can pull people just because of who he is. He can't. I agree with that. I We've agree seen with it. That. We know it. <laughs> you can't not put the yeah, best no, player in the right. world at Honestly, S. Honestly, if it's you're true. a man and you're in the best in the world, you're S tier. Which is why I actually think Hikaru shouldn't be a D. I actually think Magnus would be S tier because yes, he's the best, but he also has a good personality and he's funny, which is why Hikaru would be lower than him. I think Hikaru would be with Eric Rosen. Hammer so low. <laughs> Because Hammer needs to work on his wrist. Don't worry, Hammer's gonna have buddies in there soon. He's not the only one. Daniel Nerditsky. This is a tough one. I'm trying to think how I would rank him differently from like Eric Rosen, because I think they have similar strong suits. Because they're both very good people, have very good hearts, are pleasant to talk to, and just pleasant human beings. But I feel like Alex would know more because she went to college with him, kind of. I mean, we'd only study for classes together and play 
basketball. So the wrist is not existent. So would you put him a B? I think he's like Eric Rosen. He's nice, he's confident, he's, he's witty, he has all these things. Amon Hamilton. But we've seen the bras in action many times at the bar. They are very outgoing and they're not shy, but I just can't say I've seen them be successful enough times. I've seen some of the bras succeed, like, you know, GMR and Tari, and Amon and, and Eric, we love them to death, and they're very, very funny. I've seen the bras go through phases, phases where they're sitting in their basement not talking to women for a long, long time. Well, Amon has found himself a nice girlfriend. I think the bras, they give big giga chat energy or like a guy or a girl would think so. I guess I would put them in an S. They do pull a lot of ladies, so I will put him S tier. I'll put both of the broad. Well, you know what? I'm gonna rank Eric differently. He lost my sister and that but is- But he also had your sister the biggest, for a while. And I don't know how that happened. Eric goes lower than Amon just because he dated my sister. That should put him higher. No, in my opinion, he fumbled the bag. It doesn't matter how he got the bag, but he fumbled the bag and that's- <laughs> It's not about what he did, it's about how it ended. Pawns! I'm here to ask you on a date, I, I brought you these flowers. How, how'd you get my address? I'm a member of a subreddit. Previously, the old- Oh, come on, Hans used to stream on Twitch getting e-girls. He's yeah, a bad a boy. Ring. He's an S tier. My chat is asking for some really weird requests. If I win, they want me to go on a date with you on stream. That's so weird. Yeah, we don't want to do that, right? I, I love my community. Like, I would do it for my chat. But I don't know, like, if you don't want it, it's okay. Like That's your chat, but I'm not sure my chat wants to see that, right? <laughs> Girls love bad boys. He got e-girls. We put him on top. Like, come on, the chest speaks for himself. Like, anybody who says that is willing to say anything. So let's do Frank. I like mating, but you know what I like more than a checkmate? A juicy fork. I, I think he has a very funny personality, which I think funny is related to Riz and guys. Well, see, his sense of humor isn't necessarily being slick with it. It's just being really loud. Like You're, it's kind of like the Minecrafters. Do you think it's the Minecrafters like the, exactly. have Riz? That's why I would put Frank maybe a B tier with the rest of the lads. That's I think it's fair. Minecraft's sense of humor. Fantastion. There um, was this weird situation where his chat was trying to ship him and Nemo. I thought that was uncomfortable. For that, that I'm putting him in a D. Riz. If you want to get a lady, you do it yourself. You don't send your chat to do it. I'm not going to put him as a D because I don't think it's fair to put that completely on him. I think the chat did a lot of it. I think I would put him with the lads. Yeah, so, so, so there's no one in C and the only person in C and D is the lonesome hammer. That's where you're putting your chess coach, Andrea. A lonely hammer in D tier. You think that's okay? Uh, okay, hammer should be C tier. Okay, but, then there's no D tier. We're just, that's not we're just inflating the grades. <laughs> Kugelbooch. I really I don't like think him. we know enough likeable, about him. But we don't know him that well, but he seemed very funny. He gave me Riz vibes. I'm putting him in A. Sure, I think that's fair. He has a girlfriend. And he has a great girlfriend. He has, so. he has like that char charisma. Yeah, I think that's fair. Uh, we've contradicted ourselves many times on if people are in relationships <sighs> or not. And this whole thing is just for fun. So don't take any of it seriously. Here, if you want, I'll put myself next to Hammer so nobody will set. It'll just be the two of us. <laughs> Ginger GM S. Here. He is a smooth Oh, he talker. has so much Riz. He's this man, funny, this man witty. oozes Riz. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ginger GM is great. The men should take notes from Ginger GM. First of all, Aryan is a very handsome guy, but he has negative Riz. It's 90% girls. We're throwing a house party. I also invited one of my childhood friends. He's like this tall white dude. And then I'm like, hey, Aryan, like there's some really nice ladies. Like go meet people. I tell him this. I come back, 90% females. Who is Aryan talking to? My childhood male friend. See, Aryan kind of has that thing like the chess ladies. He's just good looking. So you put him on Twitch chat and all the chatters are like, Oogly boogly. He's I, joining our club. I think he should be a B. Well, Alex isn't actually a C. She's there to keep Hot Hammer company. And I, I would like well, at least one other person to keep <laughs> us company. Zeph Cat. I haven't seen a lot of her streams in a while. She has a strong, slightly intimidating persona. I don't know. I think if a girl is intimidating, it could be negative risk. Yeah, and I say be. so as somebody who is sometimes intimidating and gives off negative risk. Zeph Cat is really good at having her own brand and being edgy. She is edgy. That's cool because then some people really like that because you're more unique and have more of a personality but you also have less success unfortunately so i'd put her like b she's above me i feel okay about it thank you guys so much for watching again this video is all in good fun but if you disagree go ahead and comment for your kings and your queens